Hey, how's it going? Everybody, St. Cross here with another video coming at you. This time it's about the shield system. So if you're confused about the shield system, this video will be able to explain everything that I know at least uh, for you to understand how this works. Now the shield system gets it gets unlocked for you at peak level 60 on your 40th day on the server. Uh, once this gets unlocked, you will get your ice shield. Um, you'll be able to uh, activate your ice shield for free. And your ice shield is basically the first, uh, corresponds to the first floor of the temple, um, the demonic temple. Right here, and you'll be using the first floor of the demonic temple to build your ice shield up to a you know, better state. Because by default, your shield will not come with um, anything in, you know, anything in equipped in the AG system right here. Everything is going to be blank, um, and you'll probably you'll, you'll need to uh, you'll need to fill this up manually. Um, I could be wrong. I don't remember if I actually got two of those of these AGs, but it's pretty easy to acquire. Don't worry about it. Um, so let's start with the shield interface. This is basically the default, and this will show you the stats. Um, it'll also give you the uh, interface so that you can upgrade your shield to a higher level. Mine is already a grade 5 Ice Garden Shield, and you can use your Ice Talismans to upgrade that further by clicking on either the Advanced or Advanced All buttons. Underneath the Ice Garden Shield, you'll see, you'll see three icons, Fine, Legend, and Eternal. Um, and these icons will, and it will be enabled as you upscale the shield. You upscale the shield with the same um, shards that you get after, you know, after activating the shield. You'll still continue to get those um, Ice Guardian shards, Thunder Guardian shards, and that is going to help you build up your shield to a higher grade. Um, and in this case, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to turn this from Ice to Fine, uh, from Ice to Fine, from from a normal quality to a fine quality. Um, so yeah, once I get seven more of those, I'm good. And this will if this will activate. This gives me a nice buff. And um, yeah, that's as far that's as high as I can go uh, until you actually enable the last skill. Now moving forward, the upscale. Um, another thing that you need to know is that this, these shields are for. Damages. Um, although they do give you some CP increase because of the, the flat stats that they give, the actual shield itself does not seem to be affected by PvE, meaning a boss will still hit you through that shield. But it becomes really useful when you're doing when you're going into a PvP mode because it's an additional um, you know, damage mitigation source. All right, let's go out to the upscale um, system. Well, actually, we've already covered this. It gives you this interface right here. And um, the next one would be the AGs interface, which is similar to gear, you know, equipping gear. Um, it's, you, you will have, it's actually, it actually looks a little bit more like the God Regalia system, but it's a lot simpler. Um, all you have to do is equip your Aegis here, the Aegis that you farm in the uh, Temple Dungeon, and that's it, you know, just try to equip this. You might be noticing that there's two blank stuff, uh, blank uh, slots here. You get those from the events, um, and it's more specifically, I've seen it from, from, I've seen them as claimable um, items from the gala, the weekly gala um, weekend event, um, I think for 500. 40 tokens. Uh, from on, in this interface, uh, basically you have like a specific sheet, you know, AGs that goes into that slot. For example, the right wing, this one that has the right wing is only going to be equipable by the right Exara, the left Exara, um, the crown I think is the anadem, and these two are the glyphs, the signet, and at the bottom is stripe, which is act which actually means ribbon or garment. So that's why that icon looks like a garment. Um, now where do you get these? You get these from the Temple Dungeon. Let's go ahead and go into the dungeon because we are running out of time. Um, so every now and then, the Demonic Temple will give you 2 times drop rate. And if you go here into the question mark, you'll see the drop rate way down on the bottom in the schedules. Now this is important to pay attention to. Um, before you go in, you want to make sure that you are able to do the highest um, level of the dungeon that you can. Now, I recently also got the shield for the thunder, so I'm just going to do this so that we can I can show you more accurately what you know um, 
how I go about choosing which dungeon I go into. I don't. I'm not particularly um, interested in. Let's see. I think I, I, I do have some ADs for the thunder. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and equip everything that we can. All right. Now what that does is it actually increases our shields and our shield, our thunder damage. Right, so that's pretty important. Your shield set stats 175,000, and this is going to come into play when you're choosing which level of the dungeon you're going to farm. Um, first of all, you want to farm to the one that says times two or two times, and you don't want to farm anything else aside from this. You know, you don't want to go into fire and not without a fire shield, um, and you want to farm the correct. You know, when you do farm the correct floor. Uh, you need to farm the one that is showing that your stats are all in green or else you'll be suffering a penalty. So in my case, unfortunately, I, this is the best one I can do. And, and um, it's, I don't think it's worth it to actually go in with a lesser thunder damage. So let's go, let's go ahead and show you that. Um, I would actually rather go in here because my, my mobbing efficiency is going to be at 150%. Let's go now. So that we can show you how the difference. Um, you also want to pay attention if there are other people that are farming the dungeon, then it's, it might be a good idea to just, you know, let it go and wait for the next, you know, wait for the next one. Because one common mistake that people do here is, that you can do is try to force yourself to farm a spot that is already being farmed. Um, that effectively cuts the number of mobs in half, and both of you suffer. So might as well just you know skip this window and use the you know and then come back at a later time. Um, these actually this win these windows where you have like two times events um, last only 30 minutes. So no one's gonna be here for 30 minutes. You can actually cons constantly check throughout the you know throughout that 30 min minute window and see if that you know if it's already available. Like look at the, in my case look I've only got three, 230 points which translates to only seven minutes. No one can stay here for 30 minutes unless they stack up on points. Um, so if you've noticed, it's taking me forever to actually kill these bosses, uh, these mobs, and you're, these are all the things that you're just going to encounter in the, in the dungeon, really, just mobs. But they're going to be higher versions of that mob. And I'm really not doing it, you know, doing pretty well, even if I'm at the Holy Light Wolf, which is giving me a two times drop. That's because they, they, I'm suffering from a penalty um, in my damage output. So I may be getting two times drops, but I'm killing them slowly. So let's go back, to, let's go to the demonized line, for example, where there isn't any participant. And let's see what, you know, the difference. You also got this ultimate chest, which fills up gradually as you kill mobs while you're in here. Um, and that's, you know, that's pretty useful because it's going to give you a guaranteed, you know, high quality drop. You'll notice that the drops here are going to be, are going to actually vary from, um, from area to area, from mob to mob. And what I, what I mean by that is, let's take, for example, my shield. Um, I'm missing, from my thunder shield, I'm missing the left Xara, and that one's called the glyph and if I go to the dungeon this one here you'll see what drops on the on the right side and this it, the left part and the glyph actually drop at the higher levels of the map and again it's not worth rushing I mean it's not worth going up here because look at that I'm gonna suffer uh, damage bone damage uh, penalty as well as a defense penalty, meaning I'm going to be softer and it's going to be easier for mobs to, for mobs to kill me. Another thing that I want to—I almost forgot to mention—before you go into the demonic temple, make sure your god skill is fully charged. I'm sorry, should have done that a while ago. Um, never go in without your god shield charged, uh, your god skills char uncharged, because it takes five minutes for this to fill up, and by that time you would have already left the dungeon. Where can you get points, by the way? Points, you get them by doing your, your dailies. Um, and, and, and 
every time you do a daily, it gets you know that actually translates to some to the points that you can use here. They do stack, so if you don't go through to a dungeon, if you don't do your temple dungeon for a day, but you did, they, but you still did your dailies, they will carry over from one day to another. I don't know if there's a maximum. Um, what you're seeing right now is basically you stack some of the leftover points from yesterday, um, carrying over, and as well as some other other sources of points, which I will show you now. Um, if you click on the plus sign right here, you'll see that you can actually purchase 75, uh, you know, two 50-point bottles or potions for 75 pound diamonds. You can also purchase uh, 100 points for 100 premium diamonds and 150 if you are VIP 6. So yeah, it's a little bit skewed towards VIP, you know, paying players, but you know, what you gotta do. Um, on, on the top there, you'll also see the temple, uh, the dungeon, the demon temple shop. Again, this is the same thing that, that came up a while ago. Right. But if you notice, um, there is an additional purchase of 75 points right here. Okay. So if we buy that, that increases my points by actually that I'm sorry. That give that increases the drop rate, which I should have done ages ago. Um, Again, if you're going to invest in increasing the drop rate, do it at the very beginning, not in the middle, just like what I did. <laughs> um, also, you, you've got the premium version, which is 50%. Now, these do not stack, right? So you don't want to buy the 20% and then buy the 100%, um, uh, the 50%, the because this one will take precedence. So it's not going to be 70%, it's going to be 50%. Um, then the second one from the from the left is going to be the points, which is the one that actually comes up from clicking this. Um, and efficiency, right? So mobbing efficiency also increases the drop rate. So there you go. I just got a Thunder Guardian Shard. Um, and there, that's pretty good. So you want to, again, these do not stack. So you want to get the 20% one. And if you're going to do it, do it at the very beginning of your, of your uh, session. Right, so I'm down to 86 points, and I've got two, two minutes and 40 seconds left on my on my farming. And what you want to do here, while you're doing this, is actually you want to keep an eye on your age system, um, because again, I'm not taking advantage of it to the fullest because uh, I'm at I'm not at a at, at a place in the uh, um, actually the two times event has has finished. All right. No big deal. Um, this video is to show you the differences as well. So, if I go back to the boss, to the demonic temple, demonic temple um, interface. Now that I, if I click on this one, I should. I'm here, right? So yeah, I still don't have enough damage to, you know, to farm this this node um, effectively. I still need about a thousand and three hundred. Um, shield damage and you basically increase that by just increasing you know inc equipping one you need to equip um, where is it you need to equip higher higher level shield so this is pretty similar to, to gear um, and two you need, you need to upgrade your, your thunder your thunder shield so we can actually do that right now and see if we can actually make the make the cut now you see that red dots are available here, and that's because you, you know that's going to be because you can enhance them with these you know, with these um, components right here. And where do you get these upgrade material? You get them from dismantling your un unused shield. So you go into your bag right here, and you dismantle um, the, you know basically the blue ones. So you can do a batch select, do that. So that got me 3,800. I can then go into casting, I'm sorry, to my ages, and upgrade these parts individually. All right, so that's how you, you do it. Um, yeah, so while you're at the dungeon, so 40 seconds left, you, you might be able to actually go up and farm a level that you couldn't when you first came in. You know what I mean? So if we go here, do we, do we still have, do we have enough power now to move up if we have points? Nope, nope. Uh, yes, we do. I don't know, we don't. Still need 1,000. Well, that's a bummer. No rush. Um, once you finish your points off, you can, 
you know, you'll automatically be kicked off from kicked out out of the dungeon. Um, when, when we do, and then I'm going to show you the, the rest of the stuff. So yeah, try to do this in the two times event window as much as you can. The only reason you're seeing me doing this outside of the two times event window is because I wanted to show you the, the um, you know, the whole thing. So let's confirm that. And let's go back into our shield interface. So you've got the summary. So you see, these are the things that you can do. The, the Thunder Guardian shard, because I was in the Thunder floor. Um, the glyphs, uh, the AGs, I mean, um, and the talismans. All right. So let's go back into the shield system now. Um, so let's check out the bag. And generally, I find the... I do not have enough to show you how to cast over. Like, oh well, wait, hold on a second, I do. Alright, so in the in my eye system I have three extra two star gems, uh, two star ages. Alright, let's show you right here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six of those. I can't show it in the Thunder Ages because all of them are one stars. So you can only use two stars um, of the two star version. So if you go into casting and you're wondering how to get the red ages, it's like here. You need to go and filter this to orange two star. And the main will be the one that will be retained, right? Like for example, this one is the one that's equipped into your into your shield. Click on ages. back to casting there. Um, on a second. No, I'm sorry, that's not right. I knew there was something wrong to that, about that. So basically, like gears, you select which part you want to make by clicking on, on the left side right here. Right? And you will only be able to make a piece of that you have okay so for example let's filter this to orange s2 and the only only um, ages that i have are oh, this is so hard the ribbon the left wing let's just call it that the head and the um i think this is the glyph right so in order to uh, make a two-star glyph. You need to make sure you click on this on the on the corresponding glyph icon here on the left side, or else you end up creating the, the wrong kind of ages for you. Okay. So if you're if you're finding that um, you don't have, for example, in, in, uh, you don't have a red a red glyph yet. But you have like one, at least one orange two-star glyph and and some extra two-star glyphs. You can make that manually by going into upscale. I'm sorry, by going into casting. Select, um, filter this out to orange S2, so that you can make the red S2 gear um, ages. And then select the glyph icon on the left. Put the two, put, put any two extra ones that you have lying around. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this and another glyph because I won't need that. For red two stars you don't need an alchemical solution. Um, that becomes that that's needed when you try to upgrade to two star uh, to three star reds. Right here. Right, so unfortunately I can't show you that at the moment, but you will need the same number of of of, um, of AGs. You'll need two three two star reds um, and an alchemical solution. What's those alchemical solution? Um, that is up right there. Where? Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So if I do an unfiltered, right, and I want to make a three-star gear, I wonder what this does. If two, if three red star, to, uh, if three two-star red gear makes three, uh, makes a 
red three star ages. What does a, what do three three star red ages make? are needed to make pig gear. Perfect. And we need advanced gear solvents. Alright, and it does not look like, you know, it doesn't look like you need to get three red S3s here. Well, actually, just uh, see how it says no insertion needed here. Um, so it looks like all you need is the advanced gear sol solvent and you can S3 glyph. Um, so let's go back. I've explained how you do this, and I was going to tell you where to get these. Um, you get the solvents from. Actually, you can actually get the solvents for free in the same demonic temple right here. But you get shards instead of the whole the whole thing. And don't worry, these shards you only need ten of these. You don't need the usual thirty that the fusion system asks you. And once you get ten of these, then you're you, you know you do that five times and you, you can make a three uh, you can make a red three star glyph or red three star um, ages. So let's go down here to fusion and if we go to item fusion and then shield ages, you'll see what you can fuse from here. So you get the advanced glyph solvent shards, ten of them, and then you can craft them or fuse them into. Um, Solvent. Same thing for the perfect and advanced and the perfect glyph essence. Um, I'm not going to fuse that because I don't need it. I don't even have. That's one thing about fusing stuff. It's better to leave them as shards because they go into this into this bag um, and that they don't take an extra you know, an extra slot an extra slot in your in your inventory. Because once you do make a complete solvent, it it becomes it takes up a slot. Same for any other thing that you can fuse together. Um, so yeah, the solvents can also be found in the uh, One VN shop. So that is something that comes up every Friday after the One VN. Um, after the One VN. Oh, I'm sorry, not the One VN shop. The, there's the other one. One versus many. And then there's a 3v shop, which. There it is. 3v3 shop. Oh, come on. There you go. That's not good. That's the reward. So, yeah, you get that for the reward. And there's also a shop for that. I'm pretty sure there was a shop for it. some reason it's not coming it's not showing here but you can get it from since we don't see it in the 1vn store then it's in the 3v3 store which comes up after the event and it's also on friday i believe oh yeah see friday um that's one place you can get it you um you can also get these from uh, keep an eye on the weekly gala um gala event because that the pool of rewards from the item redeem shop from the gear event they did actually changes, so who knows? Maybe you'll get it there. You can also, of course, for be, uh, for paying players, you can also get them randomly from a massive discount event. I believe there's one that's going on today um, and, that, and yesterday, um, so you can get that from there. Did I miss anything? So yeah. Oh, right. So for to advance to the thunder. Um, to the Thunder Shield, you'll need to complete the um, the targets for that, you know, for the for the Ice Shield, right? So, for example, in my case, if I want to th advance to the Fire um, Shield, I need to get the, you know, get my first few pieces of, um, you know, shards for the Fire for the 
fire shield gear. Um, for example, I need to upgrade this Ice Guardian to level 10 to... Actually, wrong place. Um, I need to upgrade the Guardian to level 5 and equip at least two red to spirit ages and that is going to give me some shards right here five uh, fire garden shards so it does take a while but if you're impatient you can always uh, and if you're a paid uh, player then you can you can try to get uh, wait for some uh, events where you can actually purchase those uh, directly a look at how that weighs into my, my, my CP as far as contribution is concerned. So it does not not quite a lot and that's because this is, this has just been released um, previously but I can see how this is going to improve uh, your stats you know drastically in the coming days um, as as you unlock more and more you know more and more shields. Okay, so I think we've covered everything. We've covered how to, you know, what the resources are, what the different tabs are, how you can um, acquire, you know, uh, the glyphs, the materials, and how you can upgrade your shields. Uh, diff many different aspects, including the level, um, the equip gear, the, the quality, and the upscale, uh, and the upscaling system, and how to use the target. You know, how to complete the targets to get the, your first few pieces of the next shield that you will unlock. So yeah, hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to you know, post, a, post that in the comment section below. Do, uh, do leave a like and um, if you want, subscribe um, if you find that this content helps you out. And if you need, um, if you have anything to share, of course, you're always welcome to you know, put your thoughts and ideas there in the comment section as well. Have a good one.